Welcome to Cold Milk Podcast. I got a special guest, personal partner of mine, yes, one sir. dog. Yes, sir. What's going on with you? What's going on, bro? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah, so I want the people that don't know you, you know what I'm saying? I want you to introduce yourself, you know what I'm saying? Really to the world, right. you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'm one dog, man. What's that? One for one of the representative. Man, do the spoken word, you know. Um, that's what I do in the city, man. Try to uplift and tell my story at the same time, you know. Just give it to the people, blood wrong. Right, right, well, okay, okay. Now, let's break it down, like, how, how, how did you start with the poetry? Oh, man, okay. Make it short. Uh, I remember my brother was locked up, uh -huh. and he um he wrote my mom my, um, a poem from prison and I, I ain't never knew my brother thought like that or felt like that, you know what I'm saying? Then it was like, you know, I was going through, we were going through, you know, while we were rocking and rolling back in the day, you know, right, right. going through a lot of situations and, you know, going through it and, you know, it, that would trigger me to write and, you know, I got up one morning and asked God what was my purpose, man, and from the, that very day, man, I wrote my first poem on a napkin with a red marker, man. And that's how I started doing the poetry. Then the music side came with my brother C. Reese and DSB, the Bum Boy. What's up, brothers? And she first song with C. Reese was Slum Life. And featured on that, man, and then taking off from there. Okay. Now, do you nah, now do you remember that, that first poem you wrote on that napkin? Uh, nah, I don't remember okay, it. Okay. I know, I know <laughs> it was off the chain. It was some real deal right, right. going through it, man. I can't remember. Yeah. Nah. From what? Nah. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah, I got 23, 24 then. So okay, okay. Yeah. So you know I got to bring up when, when, when we when I when I came to you, I like man, put me something on my phone. Yeah, yeah, put yeah. Me something on my phone, <laughs> I thought you were playing, man. Yeah, I said put me something on my phone. Man. <laughs> so you know that was way back. Yeah, then. man. He used to call every week, man. I'm finna change up my own. But else you see my voicemail, man, put me up. All right, yeah. bro, I got you. Yeah, yeah that's crazy, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Been a big, bro. Yeah. You've been a supporter from day one. Yeah. I appreciate you that. You already bro. know it. For I real, used to, for real. Well, I used to have people call me and say, man, I, why you picked up, man? <laughs> I was like, man, y'all tripping. I just can't call my phone like that, bro. <laughs> I really appreciate like, that, yeah. bro. Yeah. Well, yeah, man, nah. I know you just, uh, you just dropped the, you just dropped the, uh, is it a, it's a song or? Oh, it's a, it's a song. Okay. Um, Final warning, Final basically, morning. you know, telling people to wake up out of it, man, and see what's going on. Unite. Let's get real, get real with God. No matter what we're going through, what, you know, you know, whatever situation going on in your life, keep that man first and let him know it's time is ticking, man. It's time to show love to our people and really do something, unite and make something shake out of it, man, because shit, you see what's going on. Yeah. So that's what that fire was going on about is letting people know, man, we ain't got no more time to be hating each other for no reason. And because you we got the biggest haters on us right now and that's the system. The right. system uh, they ain't they ain't rocking with us at all. So right. so we got the uniting and stand up and grow up, man, and really understand what's happening out here. Exactly. Now I'm gonna say now I seen on your page, I seen uh I don't know if it was an interview or something, but you were saying you the uh you had you had a phrase. Oh well, God of the ghost. God of the ghost. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> let, yeah, let's get into that. Let's get into that. Yeah, Cause, it was all because when I seen it <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. Shout out to Tim K uh interview, man. Yeah, man. Thought that G A but yeah, yeah bro. It was it was a step, you know. You know anybody know me? You know I'm a very laid back, humble guy. But I just want people to know that I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And and I see what everybody else doing, and I respect everybody else crowd. Right. But it's time for people to pay attention. It's not. It's mostly about me. It's mostly about when I say goats, and I, I when I say that, I you know I look at the two parts and the scar faces and the noses and. And stuff like that, and you, you have this in the city, and the city need to pay attention. Right? Right. That's all it was, because I, I pride myself on being on but I had to let people know that I'm here. And I'm here, I'm here for the people. It's not about me, it's not an ego thing. But I'm just letting them know, man, it's time to start paying some respect to the, what's really going on and people that really been putting their work in the city. And I see a lot of cats that started out when I was starting out, and they getting they just do, finally. 
So, but you know, it's time to start saluting. It's time for me to start getting saluted as well. And that's all it was. Right, right. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting on my shirt to come out. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's the next thing, bro. That's the next thing. Man. But yeah, it was. It was, it was me stepping out outside my comfort zone. You right, know right, right. It, it, you know, you ain't got to prove it when you say it. You just yeah, can't yeah. say it and just wake up one day. You know, you got to check the resume, the track record. Like, been putting in consistently for the people right. for a long time. And a representative of my side of town, of one of you, one side, one of four. So, yeah. Right, right. And let me, now, I've been seeing a lot of people getting features from you now. Right. I've been seeing and right. and they put me in the mind of I don't even know his name, but the dude on the Dungeon family. The big Rude. Shout the out to Big Rude, man. Yo, my yeah. my my idol icon right there. That's okay. if it weren't for Big Rude, you probably wouldn't be getting it from me on no on no microphone, you know. I probably just been like I say, wrote it on the neck and kept it to myself. So guys like Big Rude definitely is inspiration for them. Shout out to Big Rude. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to all the cats that asked for features now and you know and really understanding and you know putting one dog down on it man. I appreciate that. Right, right, right. And let me ask you now now the whole poetry culture. Right. Do you think Orlando could ever develop that? Right, yeah, I think so. But it's starting um it's starting to get better because we have a lot of people moving them in and out of town. Out in town, from out of town and they they ask about it like, Man, what's this and it's, and it's not you know, Orlando itself not a real culture, you know what I'm saying? And, but I think it can grow into that then when people get out of their egos because people don't know, man, that poetry life is just as worse as the rap game, man, with a lot of egos and people trying to hinder other people's movements and stuff like that. So that's why I kind of backed up from it and being, you know, I do shows here enough, but I mostly keep it in the booth studio and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm I'm a real dude, so I yeah. won't be liking all that confusion, man. Right, right, exactly. get, yeah, I get out of character, man. So I just keep and stay away from it, man. And try to stay positive with those, because there's some great people out there that I do rock with, man, that doing great. Great spoken word and poetry in the city. It's a culture that's going to grow eventually. Right, 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 right. Yeah. right. But yeah, you know, but always in the part that cold milk, man. You know what I'm saying? Whoever I'm with, you know what I'm saying? I let them, whatever you want to talk about, it could be about whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? We just sit and having a conversation. Right, right. Whatever you, you know what I'm saying, want to talk about, and you know what I'm saying? Let them know, you know what I'm saying? Well, man, you know, I guess it's uh, um obvious, you know, thing going on right now with the, with the, you know, police brutality, you know, um, it's a situation where, you know, people are upset about the rioting and the looting, and we have to be behind these people 100% because we tried everything else. We did it the peaceful way, we did it the collar tapping that way, we did it the Mark King Wade, he even admitted himself that I integrated my people into a burning house and those that write it is the cries of my hurt. And especially for I understand the other people they don't understand, but my people we gotta stand up for something. And if you're not out there, cool, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But support those that are out there. You know what I'm saying? We just, I just had a situation last night, one of my partners, man, kids. They went out there, we explained it to them. This is not a fad. Don't be all on you know, Instagram live like yeah. this. This is for real. You know what I'm saying? They were like, they understood. Then my partner went out there. We followed them. We made sure everything was smooth. This is what y'all want to do. And they went out there with a peaceful mindset. But if anything went sideways, we were prepared to take it down. So that's all it was to it. So, yeah, man. So we just, you know, support the people that's right now. And it's upsetting me that people caring about if they want to figure out if it's good cop or bad cop, that's not my concern. My concern is that young brother that was laying there with, his, with a knee on his neck. And you know what I'm saying? And the Emmett Tills to the Trayvon Martins to the, you know, all that. And it's been, you know, just the first dude in New York when they when he said, I can't breathe. And the next day, police officer made a shirt, a slogan saying, I can breathe. So they also not only feeling our pain, they making a mockery of it. So I don't give a damn too much how this shit goes. Cause we built this country, reap nothing from it. 
So what what my what burn it down? If we can't have it, nobody can. Shit, that's my bottom line. I ain't worried. God brought us through it before. He gonna bring us through it again. That's it. That's my take on that, man. And that's you know. I appreciate you getting the opportunity to express that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You already yeah. know it, man. Yeah. You yeah. already know it. That's what yeah. I done set this up for. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, man, and, you know, and another thing, you know I'm going to have you back right. when we got the other, the, the, the sit down. Right, right. So right. we can really right. go into, into it. Because, yeah. so, you know, now they, they memory, they on, right. if it go past, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's real talk. That's right, real talk. Right, right. So yeah, so I appreciate you coming yeah, I appreciate by. Appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with me. Yeah, so this go way back, man. Oh, yeah. you know, anybody watching out there? Yeah, you know. <laughs> this man got some stories. Right, and they they probably looking not like. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. You know, even the, you know, youngster holding man, man, yeah. man got story, but it's a beautiful thing right. to see brothers that been through something and knowing and seeing each other in action out there, and, right. and coming up and making 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 positive movements, man. And this is what it's all about: supporting one another, man. You know, as I keep the hate away, man, and let's support and love one another. We ain't got the whole hands, but that's when when a brother needs you, call you up, beat up for him, one hundred percent. Even if they don't call you, see. They need that extra push, motivation, inspiration. Beat up. Lord, Lord. I appreciate it.